Hello Divas, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Natasha aka Wellness Diva Chronicles Keto and I'm back with another tasty recipe for you. Last week was my beautiful baby boy's birthday, his 12th birthday, so I made this keto cake for him. He loved it and if anybody in your life that you care about is having a birthday soon, make this. So to get started, go ahead and add three large eggs to a mixing bowl. Then go ahead and whisk the eggs for a few minutes until they're a bit lighter and frothy. Just to add a little air to them that helps with the texture of the cake. Then go ahead and add in the coconut milk. I will add all the ingredients and measurements below in the description box, so be sure to check that. And we definitely want to sweeten up the batter as well as the frosting, so check for all the measurements below. If you followed on this channel for a while, you know I love a good mix, an all-purpose keto mix, but today we're going to use almond flour and coconut flour to make this cake. Before adding in the flours, you're going to want to add in your baking powder and then slowly mix in the coconut and almond flour. Now here's where I have to tell on myself because I added two eggs and it needed really eight, so I had to fix it here. <laughs> Add in the rest. <laughs> then go ahead and give the batter a good mix until it's smooth and we'll be ready to pour it into the pan and start baking. I already lined and greased a nine inch springform pan. I use ghee. I want to pour the batter into it and get ready for baking. I'm going to do two levels of this because I only have one pan this size and it's a double decker cake so it is what it is. So as I start baking that first layer of cake at 305 degrees Fahrenheit I'm going to start making the cream cheese frosting. Again my divas all the ingredients are down below in the description box so just go check that out to see how I made it cream cheese, butter, it's amazing, a little bit of sweetener, ah, so delicious. Again, it was a two-step baking process and for each cake, I baked it in the pan for about 15 minutes, but check your oven because all our ovens run differently and mine tends to run hot. So just check it until it's golden brown like this. I usually like to let the icing chill in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes. Not too long because if it's too hardened, it's gonna break the cake. Just soft enough so that it's the right consistency. About 20 minutes. See? Like this. I don't have one of those really like professional icing cake tools. You know, the ones that are long and flat and just so perfect. But so what? We make do. And this did just fine. I used a knife, I used whatever I had, and it came out amazing. Just look at it.
I'm not even going to lie to y'all. This process was a long. It took me about 20 minutes or so to ice this cake and then more time to clean up the edges at the bottom and everything, but it's worth it. Just take your time. It can be cathartic. Like, like make it a meditation, honey. I can't even meditate because my brain won't stop thinking about everything that's going on in this world. Let this icing of the cake be a cathartic meditation if you can. I'm always baking, so I got these sprinkles from Whole Foods because they have better ingredients. And I had to use the star sprinkles for my baby because he's my superstar. So I'm going to just decorate the perimeter of the cake with these stars. Look at that. Oh, thinking about my boy right now. He's going to love it. Actually, he did love it. He ate three slices. <laughs> until the next time all my divas and diva family stay safe and be well